On ERC All Access, we go backstage to live out the final fight for the title between Alexey Lukyanuk and Oliver Solberg. The fight has already begun in just the tyre choices. There's no going back now. The cars are ready, the tyres have been chosen. What happens is in the lap of the gods as Rally Ilas Canarias gets underway. Oliver Solberg was also fighting for the ERC junior title. His main rival, Gregoire Munster, suffered an early puncture, effectively ruling him out of contention. So now Oliver could just focus on the overall crown. It was a very difficult morning, definitely, with uh, rain in the uh, a lot of rain in the morning, and we didn't expect so much rain, so we went not for the best tire choice. It was very slippy, you couldn't get any temperature in the tires. Yeah, unfortunately the weather forecast was completely opposite to what we faced on the stage, so uh, I'm happy we did not lost uh, too much. I don't know, it's like a lottery, you can... Uh, make 50-50 and uh, you're right and uh, you're fast and or you're wrong and you're slow so and you cannot know in advance how it will be so uh, not really enjoyable to be honest what about the risk of showers zero zero no I, I couldn't say zero but pretty light we picked the tires uh, with information we had uh, that it's going to dry up, but it was full wet, full wet with rain. So, of course, it was not correct. For new uh, rain to wait and to, to uh, spare that uh, seven plus. It's, it's not easy because it's changing all the time, so it's just trying to, to gamble and hope for the best. The tyre options weren't going to be any clearer for the afternoon. The clouds is coming. Well, the rain we need it. It's coming. Yeah, but it's a small rain. Look, whatever we do, the first we have to do one and two on the same tyre. Yeah. Do you think it will be rain on the first two stages? No, 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 no definitely no. not. But then you need seven plus on the rain. Or you do. Seven plus, seven plus, plus. Otherwise, the car will be unbalanced. We have to go. It's too big balance. Seven, four, seven plus, or? No, 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 no. Okay. With time running out again, they had to guess and hope that they had got it correct and maybe pray for a bit of luck. The stage is five and six, the weather finally improved and Alexei Lukyanuk responded, grabbing the chance to push and rapidly make up time. He won both stages. However, as the weather changed again, the Russians started to drop back. Fortune swung back to favour the Swedish youngster. It's been a very difficult day. The weather has been so back and forward, and uh, it's been uh, raining up there, and then it stopped raining, and then you go with the other tire, and then you start raining again. So it's been a very interesting day, definitely, but a very good experience, and been learning a lot, and it's been uh, very enjoyable, actually. It was good when we were driving two stages in dry, 
but after it was uh, showers for two stages and we lost uh, one minute and ten seconds but whatever in two stages one minute and ten seconds unbelievable it's not so nice to be you know in uh, tenth position so i don't like it Day two, a new day, but the same old problem, the weather. In fact, stage 11 was so wet on one particular corner, almost everybody was aquaplaning and desperately trying to hang on. Alexei Lukyanuk was one of them. When Oliver Solberg got to this same stage 11, there was a break in the weather. And for that meant he was carrying more speed through the bridge. He took the wide line out of the tunnel. And he too would end up going off in the same place as everyone else. Once again, the service park echoed to the sound of tyre conversations. So those ones have got to be at the right pressure. Those ones. You have to check them. But there's a cut. We can't use that tyre again. Quick, check the others. Bon, allez, allez. Then it was time for the final loop of stages at the Rally Ilas Canarias, the final stages of the season of the championship. Championship advantage was with Lukyanuk, but he still had to finish to be safe. moment it looked like the Russian had thrown Solberg a championship lifeline but he managed to free the car and keep going it was going to be a tense finish to what had been a tense rally The Russian rocket had done enough. Oliver Solberg had put up an impressive fight and the 19-year-old still claimed the ERC Junior Championship title. Alexei Lukanyu claimed his second ERC crown in a pandemic hit season that almost didn't happen. 
Lucas because he did a very great season, he improved a lot since uh, last year. But the second winner of the championship is Jean-Baptiste Tellet from Eurosport because he worked like hell for keeping the championship alive. So thank you, GB. Thank you. Here we need to relax a bit because the rally definitely was uh, taking all my, uh, all I had. Still, the outcome is, uh, is fantastic. I'm happy for, for our team. Uh, I would like to thank, uh, thanks um, Citroën and Pirelli for the support and uh, for giving us a chance to do it and to all our sponsors. So uh, the team also did a great job, thanks to Scientalog. I'm proud to be a part of, uh, of that sport and uh, happy to achieve that result again. Likewise, it has been an impressive debut season for Oliver Solberg, a true star in the making. So will he come back to claim the ERC title next year?